a very good morning and a warm welcome students to your english class let us continue learning this lesson chapter 2.2 nature created man and woman as equals part 2 firstly we shall listen to the reading part of the part 2 it starts on page 32 from her father's words to purple mountain that is towards the last from her father's words on page 32 to purple mountain which is on page 33 all right please listen and read along very carefully you can begin my dear students of class 8 today we will continue the lesson 2.2 nature created man and woman as equals but before that let's see how the first part ended with lantoy a 12 year old girl was to represent the siroi lily house as a speaker in the symposium at his her school on the topic god created man and woman as equals she wanted her parents to spend some time to have a discussion with her her mother is a journalist and women's right activist her father is a lawyer and social worker who advocates the cause of women he is a very supportive husband who helps her wife in the household Due to her father sharing the household activities her mother is a successful professional because of her father her mother feels no difference or inequality at home mother feels very happy that lantoy also understands that there is no gender inequality in her house and their home is full of love so dear children will continue with the lesson her father's word are still ringing in the ears of lantoy and she tells her father mother of what her father has told her appreciative of her husband for his views children your appreciative means feeling or showing gratitude or pleasure your father is right in no society do women enjoy the same opportunities enjoyed by men it is because of your father that i feel no difference or inequality at home but outside our home i have seen the women have been subjugated in many ways it is against the will of god god has sent men and women to our earth to share the joys and sorrows of life equally to share his blessings and to enjoy the bounty of nature equally this is what your topic means Ash- ashang b knows well that men and women are equal women who are half of the human race areas important as men she writes and talks about such topics her daughter through a child also understand well that her mother is not a person of lesser quality than her father she says a home is full of love with you mother hear the meaning of bounty 
or sum paid for killing or capturing a person or animal. The mother beams with joy at the words of her daughter. As a matter of fact, mother is a fountain of love in a family. Children, everybody know, you have seen the fountain of water. So like this, a mother is also in a family, like a fountain. This bond of love is beyond comparison with anything else in the world. The All the good qualities, who is having a mother? It is because of this that motherhood has been glorified and women accept the challenges in life to become a mother. Here the meaning of glorify means praise. Show deep affection. Ashangdi continues. Pioneer women testify to the equality of women with man. Actually, life is not possible without both women and man. Yes, children, in life, both women and man are very important in the family. Lanthoy has been fascinated by the stories of pioneer women. Her grandmother had narrated many stories of the brave queen like Linthoi Gambi and Kurangayani, who were as brave as kings. There were also many brave women among the common people. These women, as her grandmother narrated, were makes, were maker of home, family, society and the nation. They were civilizing influences. At the same time, they were also adventurers who claimed that shares in free land plug and raise crop with their own hand. Modern woman has become mountaineering, naturalist, astronauts, scientists, soldiers and political leaders. Nowadays you can find that all the women we are very we, in all the field we we all are working. This proves that there is nothing a woman cannot do and that woman and man created as equal. Then she asked her mother further, Mother, you have thrown light on the equality of man and woman and also have emphasized that the world is still an unequal world. Then what I would like to know it is it there are moral, social and legal provisions to unable women to express their physical and mental potential and to set themselves free from suppression. Amazed at the curiosity of her daughter, Ashangbi adds, There are many under the aging of the United Nation. There is a declaration for a new world of equality. It has the following dimension. Here the meaning of emphasize is give special importance or value to something in speaking or writing. The meaning of legal is related to law and civilizing means educating. So in this the first equal access to basic social service including health and education every participation in political and economic decision making 
equal reward for equal work there should be equal if we if men and women both are working in together field equal reward should be get elimination of discrimination and violence against women then the mother concluded my dear daughter we can affirm along with the united nation the men and women are equal so children lantoy understand what her mother means and what the topic of the symposium means thus confident of success the next day after thanking her mother the girl of 12 happily rush out of the room in the bright morning sun so children she understood the meaning what she has to do for the topic the blue sky made the range of the eastern mountain the small girl is always fascinated by the small trail which wind up the distance purple mountain so children by this she had learned her parents explain him the meaning and she knows what she has to do here the meaning of fascinated means strongly attracted and interested so by this we have finished with the lesson so children we have now finished with the reading of the second part that is the entire lesson is been completed now we will go to the explanation now students we will listen to the explanation of this lesson that's the part 2 of the lesson it starts from as you know on page 32 from her father's words to purple mountain on page 33 okay let's get into it lanto tomba's ears were ringing in lanto's ears when she told her mother exactly what her father had told her continuing to talk about women's status in society ashangbi tells her daughter your father tomba is right in no society do women enjoy the same opportunities enjoyed by men she tells her it is because of tomba that i feel no difference or inequality at home but outside our home i see that women are subjugated to in many ways and subjugation is against the will of god because god sent men and women to earth to share the joys and blessings of life equally to share his blessings to enjoy the bounty of nature equally ashangbi knows well that men and women are equal women are half of the human race and are as important as men she writes about it she talks about these topics and now her daughter though she is a child also understands what her that her mother is not a person of lesser quality than her father so she is so happy and she tells her mother a home is full of love and joy because of you mother showing deep affection for this topic ashangbi continues to say that pioneer women testify to the equality of women with men they show that they are as good as men by being the first to go into fields where no man has allowed women to enter before now lantoy has been fascinated by the stories of pioneer women her grandmother has told her many stories of brave queens who were as brave as kings there were also women who were makers of home family society and the nation at the same time they were also adventurers okay who plowed the land raised crops had their own cattle drove cattle they are in every field and yet they are makers of home family 
society and the nation. Modern women have become mountaineers, astronauts, scientists, naturalists, saints, social workers and political leaders. Now all this proves that there is nothing a woman cannot do and also that women and men were created as equals. After hearing the views of both her mother and father on this important topic of gender equality, Lanto now asks a very pertinent question. She asks her mother, are there no rules to make sure that women are treated as equals? Her mother replied that there are many and under the ages or the backing or support of the United Nations, there is a declaration for a new world of equality, a world where there is equal access for women to basic social services including health and education and the woman has to go out and get educated and not stay at home, where there is equal participation for women in political and economic decision making, equal reward for equal work and the elimination or the doing away of discrimination and violence against women. And then she tells her daughter, my dear daughter, along with the United Nations, we can safely say that men and women are equals. Now Lanthoy understands what her mother means and so now she knows what she is going to speak about in her school the next day. She thanks her mother and this 12 year old girl happily rushes out into the bright morning sun okay? as she is so happy that she has understood such an important topic like gender equality. So students, we have learned this beautiful lesson. It's a moral based lesson on gender equality and how you should respect women. So the moral is that men and women are equal. You should respect your mother, your sisters, your aunts, and even, even, even in the future also you should respect them. They should be treated equal. Keep in mind men and women are equal and they should be treated equally and given the opportunity to do well. They should not be pulled down. You should encourage your sisters, your mother. They have a lot of talents. So help them out in their work also. Now children, we will go to the meanings. This is the meaning of the part 2. Let us read all the meanings. Listen attentively. Emphasized. Give importance or value to something, speaking or writing. Legal means related to law. Civilizing means educating. Fascinated means strongly attracted and interested. Glorified means praised. Testified means provide proof or evidence. Subjugated, controlled and dominated over. And last one is dimensions means aspects. So we have come to the end of this lesson. I hope you all have understood it very nicely. And I know you will do well in this lesson. Okay. Thank you very much.